Hello again, we are going to review the traversal of the tree on the horizontal dimension, which is breadth first traversal. So if you remember from the previous um, video, we saw two ways of traversing a tree, uh, one on the horizontal dimension, the other one in the vertical dimension. We are going to review now the uh, horizontal dimension, which is like reading the tree. Um, so if we are going to read the tree as in the Western world, the um, result of traversing the tree in that way will be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H in this example. So this will be the result. So let's check how we get that in code, because when you start the tree, you access the root, so you can easily get the first node. You can also easily get the second node, because it's the left of the root. But then, to get the third node, which is C, if you are standing in B, there's no way you can get to C. There's no link from B to C. So you some way have to remember you were in A first and then go for the second child, C. And then you have to go for D and E. So you have to go for the children of B. Again, you have the same problem. So somehow you have to remember the previous node you were, so you can go through the children of that node. And um, in the implementation I'm going to show you, which is exactly the same that Christoph showed you in, in his slides, <clears throat> we are going to use a queue to remember the parents so we can go through the children. So this is the code. It looks um, very complicated at the beginning, but it's really easy. The first thing I have to explain to you is that in the code, we use a function called in queue if. In queue if is very simple, it's here. It basically says that in the queue queue, you are going to enqueue this, this element only if this element is different from null. Okay, so this is it. If the element I want to enqueue is different from null, then I enqueue it. That's it. If the element is null, we don't enqueue it. So that's a very simple thing. So this uh, uh, code has two main parts. The starting point, when we just queue the root at the beginning of the queue, and then we go on a loop, checking if the queue still has something on it. If it has something on it, we are going to take it away from the queue, visit it, which can mean either printing the element on a screen or putting <coughs> storing it in another data structure, and then we go to the left and right children of that element, and we enqueue them to remember that these are the guys we have to visit there. So let's start. This is our example. We start with the root. So we create a new queue. And if the root is different from null, we are going to enqueue it. And in that case, we have a root different from null, so we enqueue it. And then we enter we are our loop. The queue is not empty, so we enter. We are going to dequeue this first element, store it in t, and then we are going to visit t. The function visit is not defined in any of Christoph's slides, but basically means you either print element t or store it somewhere to then have the result. So in this particular case, I'm going to put it in another queue called result. Okay. So every time we visit a node, we enqueue it in this queue. So I'm enqueuing a here. And then I have to enqueue b and c, because these are the next um, node I should visit. So we enqueue b, we enqueue c, which is the right child of a, and go back to check if we still have elements in the queue. We do, so we dequeue the first, which is b. We visit b, so we are going to put it here, and then we are going to enqueue the children of b. So you see we are preparing to visit the next level now. So we enqueue the children of B, which are D and E. And then we check if we still have elements in the queue. We still have, so we dequeue the next one, which is here, and we visit it. So you see we are forming our traversing here A, B, Z, and then we are going to enqueue the children of C. There's no left child, so there's nothing to enqueue here, but there is one right child, so we enqueue F. Go back, still have elements in the queue, the queue the next, which is D, visit D, and enqueue the children. But D has no children, so nothing is going to happen in the next two instructions because there's nothing to enqueue. Go back, we still have elements, 
uh, to visit. So we enqueue the next, which is E, we visit it, and then we enqueue the children of E, preparing for the next level, which are G and, uh, you can see G here, and H, H. Go back, still elements to process, we enqueue the next, which is F, we visit it, put it in our result data structure, which is another Q, and F has no children. So nothing is going to happen here, nothing to enqueue here, nothing to enqueue here. Go back, the queue the next, which is G. G is visited, but it has no children, so we just <clears throat> pass through the enqueue if function. We still have one element in queue, which is H. The queue it, visited, nothing to enqueue here, and we have visited all the nodes in the tree, so our queue is empty, so we finish. And this is our result, which is the result we were expecting, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H.